all right guys welcome to another in tech video well on this video i'll be showing you how to host your php website on your computer or your laptop you know so basically the reason you do this normally when we develop we develop locally and publish online you know publish on the live server and that's simply because it allows you to test and do all these kind of things on your machine, you know. All right. So without wasting any time, let me show you. What you need to do is to just um, go to your browser, open your browser, and um, look for these two. Just uh, type uh, ZAMP. ZAMP download. Okay. And on this link that says uh, apachefriends.org, just click on it. It will take you to the to where you can download ZAMP. All right. So what's ZAMP? ZAMP is actually the software that will allow your computer to actually be a server, a local server. You know, meaning I you'll be able to go to the browser and actually check your website that is hosted on your laptop all right so when you are here you can see so download this one if you are on windows and then if you are on linux you know just choose your operating system here there are different operating systems as you can see so download it uh when you are here you will see that zamp comes with php right so it comes with php it comes with um, your 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 SQL PHP my admin, you know, where you can handle your database uh, things. So just uh, come here, you will see that there are different versions of PHP. Choose the latest one. As you can see, this one is seven point four point two nine, and then there's PHP eight, and then there's PHP eight point one six. Just come to this one of PHP eight point one six. Download it click on the download so if your computer is 64 bit just download it and you can see the size here right so once you're done with this process uh you see ZAMP. of course once it's downloaded you'll have this executable file here uh you can click on it and click yes to allow the installation <clears throat> all right so the installation is going to start now. Let's see. Okay. Click OK on this alert. And then there is the setup starting. Okay, here click on next. And as you can see, these are the things that will be installed with uh, with them. You know, so they are packaged together. So you you'll have all these things in one one place so just click next so here you can see the absolute path to where um this uh, software will be installed so as you can see it's on the c drive and in this folder called them you know so you can change it if you want but i'll leave mine there because i don't have a problem with that so click next and what is saying the selected folder is not empty oh that's because i've uh i installed this before and um and i noticed that i made a mistake on the recording so i have started from scratch so on your site you shouldn't do this okay so i'll click okay let's go and delete that folder it's on a uh, c c drive as you can see here there is the folder I'm just gonna delete it here because the installation was not done so we can click next now this is what it should do choose your language so english it's fine and then click next and then it will redirect you to this uh web page okay just ignore this minimize this uh let's ignore it and then come back to this installer and click next there for the installation to start okay 
as you can see right now the installation um zemp is installing all right so this will take some time i'm just gonna pause the video and continue once it's done all right um well we are back as you can see the installation is now done so you can just click on finish as you can see this panel will start automatically now uh, let me show you something so let's see what's happening here so basically if i go to my c drive go to the c drive all right uh there is the folder for them okay when i click on it uh this is what's happening inside it the folder that you will be using in most cases is ht docs you know 95 percent of the time this is where would uh, be spending our time okay so you just click on this let's open it all right now let's see what do i mean by turning your computer into a server so now come to this panel and you want to start two things you want to start um apache you know so this is the one that makes your computer a server you know it will create ports and start server and all that kind of thing and um, and my sql so this one it will be the one for your database you know and so on so let's just go to the browser and see what's happening so if i go to the browser and i type um localhost like this you see it takes us to 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 this dashboard uh, thing so basically this is this file here let me just show you on htdocs there's this um index.php you know so there's this file here it has all this thing so so it's a welcome page for for for, for them okay all right, so basically let's just change it so that we can see what's happening. Let's just change the index and uh, make it index one, or you can just delete that file, it's up to you. All right, so now let's go back and say localhost. And now, as you can see, I am seeing the files that are inside the htdocs, you know, this folder. You are seeing these files here, all of them that are here. So if I click on dashboard, it will take me to the, the that dashboard. This dashboard, okay. All right. So now it's either you type uh, localhost to them or use uh, what's this? Uh, use one two seven. It's what. Uh, so let's just search this. Let's just Google it. You know, localhost uh, IP address. So it's one two seven. So just type in here one two seven point zero point one. I haven't been using this for a while. That's why. Okay. So as you can see, when you click on one two seven point zero point one it takes us to that folder again now um let's see how do you access your your database you know your php my admin that's where you'll be storing uh what's this ah your database so you just type in the address there and say php my admin like that all right so just by clicking that as you can see it took us to this so this is where we'll be creating our database and and everything you know so again another way of actually accessing that let me just close it let's just close here you can use the panel to do that you know you can just click on admin it will take you straight to php my admin all right so well that's it guys i mean moving forward from here all the videos will depend on this one okay so whether i'm 
I'm working with WordPress showing you how to install certain themes and, and everything. It will be this. It will depend on this because everything that I'll be doing, I'll be doing it locally. Anyway, until next time, I'm out. Cheers.